Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Nai. Today we are going to take yet another set of examples on pushdown automata. Like last video's example, we are going to take few languages which seems to be similar, but while designing the PDA, we'll be having lot of difference. For better understanding, watch the video till the end. Before we start, a small information I'd like to share. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. Today's first example is construct a PDA that accept language of this form a to the power 2n b to the power n where n is greater than equal to 1. It means the string generated by this language will be something like this a square b a to the power 4 b square a to the power 6 b to the power 3 a to the power 8 b to the power 4. It means the number of a's will be twice the number of b's. You can see a to the power 4 b square it means there are four A's followed by two B's. Now let us see the observation. A is the starting symbol here. And after first A, we can have any number of A's. But after first B appeared, we can never have any number of A's. Let us see its requirement. For every two A appear, we need to push a single A onto the stack. And whenever a B appear, we'll be popping that particular A. So when all the A's will be popped out, we can say the string is getting accepted. Let us see. Let us take the same string a to the power 4 b square. As you know, we keep a epsilon at the starting to indicate that we are about to start and we keep another epsilon at the end to indicate the string is completed. When the first epsilon appear, we'll be at state q0 which is the starting state and on this transition we can go to state q1. But the level R will contain epsilon, comma, epsilon, arrow Z0. It means we are at state Q0. On seeing the input symbol epsilon, when the top of the stack containing epsilon, we will go to state Q1 and the Z0 is the symbol we are going to push. So we will be having Z0 at the top of the stack. The next input symbol is A. So when A appeared, what we are going to see that A is the input symbol and Z0 is at the top of the stack. So we are going to push A Z0 onto the stack. If we want to write in the form of transition, Q1 is the state we are in, A is the input symbol and Z0 is at the top of the stack. So we will be going to state Q1 and we will be pushing A Z0 onto the stack. It means Z0 will be popped out, then Z0 will be pushed. After that, the input symbol A will be pushed onto the stack. Now, the top of the stack contains A. The next input symbol is one more A. So now you can see A is at the top of the stack and A is the input symbol. So the transition will be like this. Q1 is the state we are in. A is the input symbol and A is at the top of the stack. We are going to Q2 and we are going to push A onto the stack. It means the input symbol A here will not be getting pushed. So whatever is there on the top of the stack will be just pushing that onto the stack. We are not going to push the input symbol anymore. The next input symbol is yet another A. So what we are going to do? We are going to see that what are the input symbol and what is the top of the stack. Here you can see A is the input symbol and A is at the top of the stack. So what you are going to do? We are in state Q2, input symbol is A and A is at the top of the stack. So we will be coming back to state Q1 and we are going to push A A. It means whatever is there on the top of the stack, we are going to pop it. We are going to push it first and then the input symbol A we are going to push onto the stack. So at the top of the stack, we will be having A. The next input symbol is A. Now A is the input symbol and A is at the top of the stack. So what we are going to do? We are going to push the same A what is there on the top of the stack. It means the stack will remain unchanged. By this what is happening you can see whenever we are having the first A we are pushing, the second A we are not pushing, third A we are pushing, fourth A we are not pushing. 
So every time, whenever there is an even number of A appearing, we are pushing a single A. When 4 A appeared, we pushed only 2 A's onto the stack. Now the input symbol B. When B appeared, we are having top of the stack A. So we are going to pop what is there on the top of the stack and we can go to another state called Q3. It means we are at Q2, B is the input symbol, A is at the top of the stack. So we will go to state Q3 and we are going to pop A what is there at the top of the stack. After the execution, it will be like this. The next input symbol is yet another B. Now B is the input symbol and A is at the top of the stack. So what we are going to do? We are going to pop the A which is there on the top of the stack. So we are going to write the transition in this manner and the A which was there on the top of the stack was popped out. The next input symbol is epsilon and now Z0 is at the top of the stack. So what we are going to do? We are going to pop Z0 from the stack and can go to the final state. So we are at state Q3, epsilon was there as the input symbol and Z0 as the top of the stack. So we are going to pop the stack and go to the final state. I hope you understood this. Now you can see nothing is there in the stack and symbol epsilon is there as the input symbol. And we are reaching the final state Q4. So we can say the string A, 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 B, B is accepted. I hope you understood this. Let us try to modify this example a little bit. Now construct a PDA that will accept the language A to the power N, B to the power 2 N with n greater than or equal to 1. Now the string will be in this format a square b to the power 4. It means two a's will be appearing after that four b's. It means how many b's will be there? Twice the number of a's. Let us see the observation. It is starting with a symbol a and when the first a appear we can have any number of a's and after the first b appear we can never have any number of and the requirement is as we are going to equate the number of A's and number of B's, we are going to have a stack. And whenever A is appearing, we are going to push it onto the stack. And whenever two number of B's will be appearing, we are going to pop a single A, which is there at the top of the stack. And if the string is completed, we can say that string is accepted. Let us design the PDA. Now epsilon is the input symbol and epsilon is there at the top of the stack. So what we are going to do? We are going to push Z0 onto the stack. So after the execution, we will be having Z0 at the stack. In the form of transition, if you want to write, it will be delta of Q0 epsilon epsilon equal to Q1 Z0. The next input symbol is A. So when A appeared, Z0 is at the top of the stack. So we are going to push the A which is there as the input symbol. So what we are going to do? We are going to pop Z0, push Z0 again and after that we are going to push A which is there as the input symbol. So it will be looking like this. Now A is the top of the stack. The next input symbol is yet another A. So here also we are going to do the same. Here A is the input symbol and A is at the top of the stack. So we are going to push A A onto the stack. It means we are going to pop that A which is there at the top of the stack. Again push it. And the A which is the input symbol we are going to push that also. So we will be having A as the top of the stack. The next input symbol is B. So whenever the first B appear we are not going to do anything. It means the stack will remain the same. We are at state Q1. We are going to state Q2 on input symbol A and stack symbol A. It means we are going to pop A and we are going to push A. We are not going to do anything to the input symbol. So the stack remains the same. Now the next input symbol is B. B is the input symbol and A is at the top of the stack. So as many B will appear, we are going to pop A, A from the top of the stack. We are at state Q2. So we will go to state Q3 by popping the A which is there at the top of the stack. So like this. When the next B will appear, we will be there at state Q3 and on appearance of input symbol B when top of the stack contains A we will be keeping the stack as it is. So we are not going to 
pop anything or push anything. So whatever is there at the top of the stack will pop it. Again, push the same symbol onto the stack. So the stack will remain the same. Now the next input symbol is B. We are at state Q2 and we can go to state Q3. When B is the input symbol and A is at the top of the stack, we are going to pop the A, which is there at the top of the stack. The next input symbol is epsilon. So epsilon is the input symbol and Z0 at the top of the stack. So we are going to pop Z0 from the stack. And we can come to the final state Q4. Now you can see nothing is there in the stack and epsilon is there as the input symbol. So we can say A, A, B, 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 B is accepted. I hope you understood both the example. How a small change in the language of the PDA changes the whole design of the PDA. I think you understood by now. If you understood, give me a like and share among your friends. In our next video, we are going to talk about few more such examples. See you then. Take care. Bye.